So now that swirl, when you talk about the fuel atomization, the more it spins around in there, the farther it breaks down or yeah, it separates helps, the fuel. It helps uh, break everything down and also the way the, the angles of the fuel coming out and the bowl design has all been tested based on that swirl. So the extra swirl has, I've never seen it cause any problem. Yeah, so there's like a thing in firefighting when we started moving to high pressure mm -hmm. firefighting systems because we figured out that the smaller droplets of water mm -hmm. had more surface area than larger droplets. So mm -hmm. it's the same kind of concept as fuel atomization. If you can have the smaller droplets, to, right? To an extent, sometimes sometimes the velocity on the fuel too. So like we could get smaller droplets on like an eight hole injector or even more, but the spray becomes more of a plume and it's like, it doesn't penetrate into all that air and into the bowl as well. And they don't make as much power sometimes as uh, a spray that's more of a jet, like that's in say like a five hole injector.